Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Tani here, and we are back in the Briggs household. And I'm just so excited to play these guys today because I love playing them. I have so much fun, and you guys seem to really enjoy these videos. So I'm just super excited to be playing them today for you. So we have Starla here in a very unglamorous. <laughs> situation unclogging the toilet and Harper is actually talking on the phone to a friend so that's great now let's have Starla finish this off so she can actually use the toilet in the first place and then after that we'll just have um, Harper just watch TV okay so Harper is actually aging up today to a teenager so that's really exciting and Starla's just gonna go sit next to her they're gonna watch TV together it's gonna be so cute you're making a little bit of small talk it's cute. It's all good. She's not really having it and you know they're gonna talk about movies she's gonna share a secret and then she's gonna ask about day and i think the key moment here is that harper says to her mom you know i i have a question for you she's like i really want to know who my dad is like i haven't you haven't ever said you know who he is you've never given me any information about where to potentially find him and she's like so who who is my dad and you know I don't think that she really likes it. So Starla is patronizing Harper for asking about her dad and who he is. And she's gonna scold her. So she's like, you have no business trying to ask me who your dad is like your dad hasn't been here this entire time like you need you don't need to know who he is and she said you are in big trouble young lady you better not do that again maybe you should help around the house to get on my good side so it is just not going super well so um Starla's gonna hit the shower and Harper's gonna go to sleep and yeah it is it's, it's not going well you know Harper's thinking well I'm turning 14 tomorrow I really want to you know find my dad and find out who he is and she She's kind of, she's just very good at her heart and wants to know, you know, who her family are. And she's feeling humiliated from the socialization. So she's in trouble and she's feeling embarrassed. And, you know, I think that just goes to show what a horrible mother Starla really is, as fun of a character as she is. I think she has a really nasty side to her. And she really, I feel like, showed her how truly selfish she is at her core in this interaction with her own daughter who just wants to know who her father is. So yeah, they're just gonna go to sleep. And then tomorrow is a really exciting day because Harper will grow up to a teenager. And yeah, okay, so it's morning time and a, a notification just popped up saying it's Harper's birthday. Why not throw a party? Now, I don't really realistically think that Starla would even let her invite a friend over or if she did, she'd be kind of unhappy about it. So I don't think we're gonna throw a party, unfortunately. And I also don't think we have enough money to hire her out of venue either. So this is what it's gonna have to be. I think Harper is just going to grow up at home by herself, realistically. And also something, the, an idea that I've been toying with is that maybe Harper is eventually going to have enough of her mother and she might just move out on her own to one of these other trailers, potentially. If if, um, yeah, if their situation gets too bad and just awkward at home. So I'm super, super, super excited for her to age up. I've been waiting for this moment, but I think she's definitely going to be kind of like, she's not going to love having to share a bedroom with her mom now that she's, you know, a teenager. For me, they kind of, when they grow up to be teenagers, they're like 13, 14. We're going to see a little bit of tension there as well. Um, but Starla here is still kind of supporting. She's like, yay, like my kid is growing up. Like she's gonna be even more independent, but like let's face it, Harper has been independent this entire time. Like it's not like she's really had anyone to take care of her. But yeah, so honestly, I think her birthday wish that she's making here, she's like blown out her candles and she is wishing for a family and to find her dad. I think that's the key thing here that she is really kind of just hoping for she's hoping that she can find him she's like a little bit older now and she's gonna have the autonomy to be able to make that decision for herself and because of our success in school we can choose a trait for harper now i kind of feel like we should maybe randomize <laughs> she got irresistible <laughs> so she's a virtuoso dog person hydrophobic irresistible that's a, such an interesting combination of of traits <laughs> 
right, so I'm gonna quickly give her a makeover, but this is kind of what she looks like um, just now. I will definitely give her another hairstyle, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but she really kind of ends up looking like her mom, mostly, for the most part, because I was thinking, like, maybe, maybe we can possibly see a little bit who her father is in her features when she grows up, and we cannot. She's like a carbon copy of her mom. Let's see. Um, I'll just change here to every day real quick and then we can take a look. Yeah, so here she is. She looks a lot like her mother. I really barely see any of her father's features here. But yeah, I'm just gonna give her a quick uh, makeover and then catch up. Alrighty, so here is my makeover. I sense she got the irresistible tray. Now, it's kind of inappropriate for like a teenager, but I feel like that would translate to her age group as like her being like a really cool girl. So she was kind of like an outcast as a child. And now I think she's like grown up. She's this teenager. She's cool. She's, you know, making so many friends, all this stuff. So yeah, I think that's what's going on. And they're just going to have some more cake for breakfast. There is also spoiled cake for breakfast in the, in the fridge, which has to be cleaned out ASAP because that's kind of gross. But yeah, here are the two Briggs girls having a conversation. Honestly, of course, Starla's face has morphed into something a little bit different looking than what it used to be naturally, but I would say Harper definitely has her face. Like, it, the genetics said copy and paste. But yeah, so I've known the entire time who her father is. However, you don't know. And I think it would have been so funny if we could have been able to tell by her facial features, but we literally can't tell. Like, she just literally looks so much like her mom. Anyhow, I think next what's gonna happen is that. Harper is going to try again asking her mom like please mom tell me you know who my father is can you not give me any information like why not you know please I just want to know I want to get some information and I can't take this like I, I can't take the not knowing she's going to ask and hopefully it'll go better than like last time you know she was trying to ask like mom seriously who is my father like I need to know and she once again will mock her she'll say oh my god God, like you just you know like why do you need to know like I've been enough of a mother for you this entire time like why why do you have to know and it's just it's it's really sad but they're gonna argue about it and it's just it's just sad um, is all I can say. It's really tragic. So the next thing that I think Harper can do is go to City Hall and, you know, try to go there and see if there's any information that they might have about who her father is. If there's any kind of, you know, birth certificate or paternity information or anything. So she's going to go towards City Hall, which we're going to take as her going there to try and find information about her self and her you know, parent status, like we, we want to know um, who our father is. And yeah, it's it's just, um, it's a really, you know, sad thing that Starla is just so self-involved and self-centered and, and not really interested in even, you know, sharing this information with her daughter. So yeah, now Harper's at City Hall um, trying to find out information about her father, who he is, going fully behind her mother's back, fully knowing as well that if Starla finds out, she will go absolutely ballistic. And she knows she's taking a huge risk doing this. But I think Harper at her core is somebody who just can't really, I, I, I think she just can't really let go of that need to know. And I think she has that level of um, kind of integrity, I guess, or just, just something that Starla doesn't have. Harper has it double. And that's, that's essentially the driving force for Harper's quest to find out more about who she is, where she came from, and yeah. So Harper's been to City Hall and she's found out who her father is. Touring a public place sometimes reveals unexpected and impressive sights from City Hall. So she is coming out super impressed and happy that she has found out who her father is. So she is, oh, she looks kind of sad though. She's like happy she's found this out, but she doesn't understand why her mom hasn't told her before now, but she was able to find his address.
address and she's gonna visit him. She's heading out over to his home address that she was able to find and she's super nervous. She's like absolutely freaking out, you know, about essentially going to meet her father. So she's all smiles now, you know, that sad face is long gone. She doesn't feel that way anymore. She's just excited to be able to meet him for the first time today. And oh, there's someone else here as well. <laughs> Hello? Um, let's go and knock on their door or ring the doorbell and we'll see if anyone comes out. She's thinking about how she's like, I'm so impressed. I got this information from, oh, there's nobody home right now. That's interesting. Lo and behold, just as we're just stood there, she's thinking, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know, nobody answered the door. She meets him, her dad, for the first time ever. And, you know, he instantly recognizes her and instantly just knows who this is. And he knows it's his daughter and he lets her into the house. And she's absolutely just so excited to finally meet, you know, her dad. So she's complimenting his home. Everyone's coming home from work and whatever. So we've got Danielle, um, his, his new wife. Um, and, you know, she's just trying to make a good impression on him. Oh, he's just not vibing with it. Um, let's see. Um, we could possibly just chat with him for a little bit. Um, we could tell a funny story, something that's happened to us before. Um, also, Robbie Platt is here, who is his new stepson from Danielle's first marriage. Harper is thinking, you know, is this going to be my new family? Is this something where this could actually give me the familial warmth that um, Starla has never been able to provide for her. And, you know, it's a valid question to ask why Javed wouldn't go um, out looking for Harper and, and, and wouldn't go looking out for, you know, for his daughter, essentially. And the answer is that Starla, when she was born, fully told him not to contact them, to leave them alone. And if he was to contact them, you know, she would absolutely get the authorities into the into the mix so she was essentially threatening him and telling him you know stay away from our life and so you know he did he did and it wasn't until harper took you know fate into her own hands and and said i i want more i want more than this and went out and found her family and hopefully she's gonna be able to make a good enough impression on her family to warrant creating like a new family for herself that she's always wanted. So she's just trying really hard to impress Javed and just get their relationship to a to a, a point where, you know, they can just maybe they could, you know, sometimes see each other, grab lunch, something, but she also is very aware that, you know, they have to keep this a secret, you know, Starla can't find out that this is what's been going on. Um, and I feel like Starla would now send Harper a text being like, hey, it's getting late, where are you? What's going on? You know, please come home. And yeah, there it is. Her, her phone's going off. Okay, so Harper is wanting to become friends with Danielle. So she's just gonna quickly introduce herself to her, I guess, stepbrother at this point. <laughs> Robbie, who's over here talking about her to Danielle. She's just gonna go introduce herself to the last person in the family that she needs to introduce herself to. And yeah, she's just looking around. She's like, wow, this house is so big and it's so nice and so homey or homely. <laughs> and she's just, you know, thinking like, wow, like this is what I could have had growing up if things had gone differently. Harper doesn't blame Javed. Harper knows that, you know, he, he didn't want to take the chance to potentially get arrested or anything like that so she understands even though it's bittersweet she's you know she's very aware that she could have had all this growing up and things could have been very very different so it's it's bittersweet for her but yeah she found out that robbie doesn't like kids and that he's in the investigator career so that's interesting but yeah she's She's, you know, happy to have found her stepbrother and she's finding out that she also has a stepsister through Danielle and, you know, yeah, so we've got here a Laura Platt. Yeah, that's who it is. Um, so, yeah, she's like, wow, I even have a have a half sister. That's incredible. But she has to go now, unfortunately, because of um, curfew. But 
It's been an intense day and it's even more intense for Harper to know that when she goes home, she has to keep this a secret. She cannot let her mom know that where she's been all day, essentially. And, and she can't let her know that she's been, you know, getting to know her secret family that, that you know, Starla's never shared that she has out there. So it's really intense and she's going home and she's really nervous. She's like, had the best day, but she's like, oh God, like she absolutely can't find out. So she's just gonna go home straight to the shower and just take care of her needs and just uh, just get ready for sleep and, and for a new day and her first day at high school tomorrow. So she's just running home real quick and she doesn't, she barely says hello to Starla or acknowledges that, you know, she's right there next to the front door and starla doesn't really think any of it i think starla is just so preoccupied about getting married and finding the one and all that stuff so that i don't think she really cares that much and yeah um we'll <laughs> try to invite this guy alvin over again i don't think it's gonna happen but yeah so our next thing is i guess trying to find someone that starla can marry because she really can't seem to find anyone she can marry so i think starla will go out on the brawl um next and oh yeah she had this um she had a party to go to so we'll just go to the party if it's still on it might end just as we get there but <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. So, yeah, Starla. Oh, yeah. We missed you at the party, Starla. Hopefully, we can make it next time. So, we're definitely going to be making it uh, too late. <laughs> definitely not going to be happening anymore. I actually love this house, and I. You can look in through someone's window. Let's do that. I've never seen this in direction before. What? Hold on. I've never seen that. That's so creepy, actually. Oh. Oh, it just opens up the house. Okay, so there's no one here. <laughs> Anyway, I guess we'll go home and just wait until the next morning and see what happens. But yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy day for everyone. And it's just, you know, Harper's going to bed thinking like, wow, I can't believe everything that happened today. She didn't think that she would go to City Hall and find out her father and then go to his house and think that he was even going to be home. And then he came home and then she was able to meet her stepbrother and her stepmom that she never even knew existed. And at all this time Harper was doing this, Starla had no idea. So it is key for Harper now to just try and hide what's really been going on from Starla because Starla would not be very happy. So it is the next morning and Harper has woken up and and she's wanting to do her homework so I guess <laughs> um, when she comes home from school today she'll do her homework um, and you know she's gonna pick up fluffs actually she's still having a degree of loneliness she's going through a degree of loneliness with everything that's been going on and you know sometimes holding her imaginary friend is just what she needs to do and she also wants to become BFFs with Jared I think Jared was the babysitter for her <laughs> Um, and she's also wanting to befriend Danielle, her stepmother, which is super, super sweet. And all this time, she's she's just trying to hide what she's been doing. She's racked with guilt, honestly, in the background. Um, she's racked with guilt, like absolute, just she shouldn't have done that because she's afraid of what's going to happen. Her, her relationship with her mom is going to be absolutely destroyed when she finds out what she's done and it's just not gonna be good so she's super super nervous super super scared and all this time starla has no idea so she's just gonna pay some bills and then go to work and she's oblivious to what her daughter's been doing and yeah but i'll see you guys after they come back from home and school oh my gosh a formal dance is happening soon on thursday at six o'clock that's so exciting i think we will definitely 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 get harper to go to the dance although we don't really know that many people who who we could ask to go to prom with us but <laughs> hopefully we'll find someone but I think for after school uh, Harper is really really desperate to do something fun so we'll actually ask her friend Erin to go out somewhere um, we'll go to the beach even though I'm pretty sure she is yeah she's hydrophobic she's like other people really seem to enjoy the beach we can go and it'll be fine okay so he said yes so on the way there, she's still, you know, she's just anxious. She's like, oh my God, I've really done something I'm not supposed to. And she's trying to avoid going home. She just doesn't want to go home because she doesn't want to be face to face with her mom with the knowledge that she 
she's literally gone behind her back to meet her dad and everything she's like oh my gosh i should not have done that that's so bad and i regret it like she kind of regrets it because she just knows that it was not right to do or rather that even if it was the right decision for her her mom could potentially kick her out so she's not super excited about that <laughs> aspect of it because she's like she's a teenager she doesn't have a part-time job she doesn't even know how to find one so she's like terrified honestly about what could happen to her um oh and her half sister is here all the way over here at the beach so we might go and you know go up to her and say you know hey like are you Alora? um but first we're gonna hang out with our friend aaron at the beach and oh he's actually so cute as well so we'll just talk to him about music we'll ask his sign we'll ask about his career we'll just chat to him and have a nice time here at the beach even though harper is afraid of water and um <laughs> but she doesn't have to go in it she can just hang out at the beach and it's it's fine let's just you know let's get to know him let's make a silly face and um let's um consider his attractiveness <laughs> They're having a good time. It's nice. Harper Harper's having a good time. I'm I'm glad she's she's having a she's able to make a friend. She actually finds him relatively attractive as well, so that's good. She's going to just talk to him, get to know him a little bit. Wow, she's just so pretty. Honestly, just <laughs> sometimes the Sims in my game surprise me. I'm like, "Wow, okay. They're super pretty." Okay, so I think we're just gonna say goodbye to Aaron. Unfortunately, Harper is getting way too tired. So she's just gonna go home because she is just exhausted and she still wants to do her homework because she's just such a conscientious sim. Um, but yeah, at home, Starla is on the phone with Javed now. He has called her to say, you know, I know you told me to not contact you, but it's so great that you let Harper meet me. And she's like, what? I never said that. I never gave her permission. I never told her who you were. So she's absolutely furious. So she's like, okay, she's home. I gotta go. And she turns to Harper and starts just insulting her own daughter, saying, you went behind my back i can't believe you did that she's she's just being a, honestly a terrible terrible person terrible mother right now it's just awful they end up having this horrible horrible fight they're just arguing fighting um and she's just saying the unthinkable to her own daughter like just you know petty jabs and just pointing out her flaws and arguing and fighting and mocking her traits and all this horrible stuff and it's just awful and it's breaking Harper's heart and she's offended, she's stressed out, she's humiliated and at the same time Starla's just fine and um, Harper is thinking that Starla is being unforgivably rude. It's just, it's it's a horrible situation right now and, and it might not be something that they can fix which is really really sad and I think I'll end the part here next time i i guess we'll just have to find out what happens um you know can they work it out or is starla going to be so furious that she kicks her own daughter out and leaves her homeless in starlight shores um we don't know what what could happen um and yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode lots of plot twists happened it was quite intense and i really hope you enjoyed and tune in next time let me know if you have any input on whether or not what, what do you think starla would do would she be the kind of person to still let her daughter stay at home even if they had a horrible fight like that or would she kick her daughter out and just say you know what like i've had enough get out you disrespect me and my boundaries and and just essentially kick her daughter out um let me know i'll, I'll look forward to everyone's comments all of you guys comments on this series have been so great and it just puts me in a place whenever I load into this save. I'm just super, super excited. So thank you so much to everybody who's commented. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. And I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.